From Bear Song Elementary to JFK High, Russell Okubo grew up in the halls of Sacramento schools. As I got older, um, you know, just being taught family values and consideration for others. A simple life. That's how Russell would describe his childhood. Home before the streetlights turned on and constant family dinners, but challenges did face him and those who look like him. I'm third generation Japanese. So um, our parents uh, were interned in, in camp, the second generation after World War II. So when they got out of camp and they started having families, um, we all got names, the third generation, Rick, Dan, Mike, Mary. Um, some of us got maybe a Japanese middle name, but they tried to Americanize us as best as possible. They never spoke Japanese uh, in the house at all. So we lost that value. Russell says he felt at times he missed out on parts of his heritage as his parents never spoke Japanese in the home and hopes to address to life in America. So he set out to reconnect with his roots. What I did was I took multiple trips to Japan as I got older. And then I started to realize, you know, their culture and um, how it works. And, you know, and, and the society there and here is very, very, very different. Um, here, it's, it's, um, it, it, it's almost a very relaxed society where in Japan it's, it's very punctual. There's a lot of consideration for others. Like some Japanese almost put themselves second. On his first trip, Russell says he felt out of place, recalling feeling divided on his heritage and where he was born. Um, a little bit of fish out of water. I, I was still pretty young and um, I had an incident on an airplane where I'm filling out my um, immigration cards and then I get to immigration and I wrote it on the card it says nationality I wrote Japanese so I present it to the guy at the immigration booth and he returns my paper he says you're not Japanese you're American change it to stay connected to his culture he opened up Fuji a restaurant that originally was one of the first Japanese restaurants in Sacramento today the heirlooms of his nephew's grandmother decorate the walls language lessons in the bathroom. Question number one. How do you say tuna in Japanese? Maguro. As he continues to pay homage to the original restaurant and what it meant to his community. This building that we're in now was kind of a, a special place because I was here as a kid, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old, because Fuji Sukiyaki was here for 38 years and um, the Fujita family um, end up retiring and we closed, they closed and this building was vacant for about seven, eight years. So I thought, you know, I would bring it back. So, you know, I had to call, call Bob and get the blessing and say, you know, I have an idea. I want to kind of bring it back, you know, to, to bring back what was here for so many years. Located on Broadway, Fuji shares the name and concept of the Japanese restaurant that previously occupied the spot. Keeping the stories of those that came before him is also important to Russell, so that the next generation knows the shoulders of their ancestors that they stand on. A lot of the par uh, people my parents' age uh, are, are depleting, you know, because like my father's gonna be 99. Um, so that Nisei generation, they're, they're, they're slowly, you know, passing. So there's not a lot left. Of, of them, to the original Japanese. One thing I know about Japanese Americans, most of them didn't complain about, you know, I was interned, you know, it, you know, I had a horrible life and poor me. They did, I, they never did the poor me thing. They just said, we gotta work harder. 